welcome to my channel. I am Zodiac Bandit, and today we're going to have some spoilers for Campaign 3 of Critical Role up to episode 96, and some potential spoilers for episode 97 and 98. So if you aren't caught up, I recommend clicking off now. The return of Sam Regal into Campaign 3 is upon us, and it's either going to happen in episode 97 or 98, and I have definitive proof that this is in fact the case. Now, if you go and look at the event information for the Critical Role episode 98 live video or live performance that they're going to be doing it says game master matthew mercer will lead players travis willingham laura bailey liam o'brien sam regal talzin jaffe ashley johnson robbie damon and marisha ray through a exciting live performance of campaign 3 episode 98 of critical role the extraordinary brennan lee mulligan is serving as the master of ceremonies so what does this mean? It means because they have advertised Sam Regal will be part of the adventure they go on. He can't just show up and be like a advertising thing. They've literally advertised him to be within the game itself, which if they don't have him in the game itself, it's technically, not that I think anyone would act on this, but it is technically false advertising, which is a pretty big deal. You can't just falsely advertise something and then not, you know, have it happen. You can't say this is going to be a thing that's happening and then not have it happen. That is literally false advertising. You can't do that. And nowhere on either the Critical Role website where they give this information and neither on the uh, the Greek, which is like the, uh, the theater they're going to be playing at, does it say like card subject to change? It doesn't say that at all. It doesn't say that anywhere in any of the information. So realistically, there is no out for them to not have Sam Regal. This only leaves Sam Regal with two episodes to return because episode 96 was last week, which means that next week, because there is a break for this week, they have episode 97 to introduce him or they can introduce him during the live show. And, you know, there are preferences to each. Obviously, you can have him appear in episode 97. That way he is there from the beginning of episode 98 with the live show and then everyone's happy because sam regal gets to have his name announced and be read out much like they always like to do at the beginning of the live shows and sam always likes to give on some sort of like big ass performance when he enters or he's wearing something totally random and wild and wacky so they like to have him doing those things and it would mean he could be there for the ad read if they were to introduce him in episode 97 and then he could be there for the ad read for episode 98 at the live show which i think would be a big thing for them to have a live sam regal ad going off during the live show it would be huge because a lot of people love sam regal's ad reads and i like them i very much enjoy them it's not something i recap because it's not important to the story but it's still something enjoyable and i think it's very fun so for them to have that at the live show which is something they normally do would be huge so i think it's very likely they introduce him at or in episode 97. And I think it would be the safer bet if you were betting which episode he's going to show up in. But at the same time, you can't deny the fact that the pop for a Sam Regal new character reveal to happen in front of a live audience would be massive and would be insane. It would be a lot of fun. A lot of people would, you know, all have their same first initial reactions to a character show up right there to all of them like instantly like, everyone would know right away if this like you know how people feel about the character because there's going to be a reaction to them and i think it'd be a lot of fun for us to i think this would be the first time a player character of the main cast would be introduced at a live show and i think it'd be really cool just like i said the pop for the new character and sam to walk out on stage you know 30 minutes into the episode would be massive and people would be like oh fuck he's finally back and be like super excited about it and be super happy so i can't deny that introducing him in the live show would be really fun and would be really cool but i just feel like it makes more sense to have him the whole time during the live show but i don't know what do you think about that so there's another part of this conversation that I want to have, and that is what type of character Sam can play at this point. So back when FCG initially died, the party was in a really good place to introduce numerous characters for Sam Regal to come back and play as. Literally, we could have picked anything or anyone from anywhere in Alexandria, and it would have made sense because of how like the encampment is working with the Grim Verity and how like the whole council thing is bringing people in from Isilra, Wildmount, Marquette, uh, Teldore. There was just a million options for characters to show up that Sam Regal could have been. But now that they're in Aeor, 
we are very, very, very limited in the options that are available to who Sam can play. And what I mean by this is it's not an, it's not a really accessible area. So realistically, any returning characters who people were theorizing likely isn't happening. And this hurts me a little bit because I really like the idea of Kaylee being the character that Sam Regal was going to play, the daughter of Scanlan, which would be like a nice way to continue Scanlan's story. Uh, seeing as how Sam Regal is the only character to not have a returning character yet physically return, some people are going to be like, well, Travis didn't. Well, yes, he did. He had Bertrand Val. So Sam, as of right now, is the only player to not have a character return in the flesh, which kind of sucks. So a lot of people really wanted either Terry to show up, Scanlan, or Kaylee. And unfortunately now with them being an Aeor, it doesn't look like that is going to be the case, which kind of sucks and, you know, would have been really cool for it to happen. But with Dorian being around, they don't need another bard. So realistically, it would have just been like, you know, too many things happening with bard because they would have been very similar. And we all know Sam struggles with characters who are too similar with other characters. Literally why he struggled playing Cleric so hard. But it also sort of closes the door on like, anybody from the grim verity just being a character he could play as it opens the door for other types of characters though none returning which which sucks but it does open the door for like a really fun uh character concept that is a aorian like treasure hunter someone who we are aware is like you know the idea of people going into aor and like going through it and trying to treasure hunt isn't foreign to us they've mentioned it many times throughout campaign two and campaign three there's literally a group of individuals known as the tomb takers who are all dead now but we do know that they you know they went through aor specifically people get hired to go through there all the time so an adventurer going through there or a treasure hunter going through there and coming across the party would be really cool in my opinion and could be a nice a nice little historian for more aor stuff right like they've been in here so much that they've learned quite a lot about aor itself which i think would be a really really cool concept and we know that characters like deanna and frida have been able to walk, make their way through it a little bit so it's not totally impossible that characters do make their way through it and are capable of surviving in lower numbered groups so if a single individual is going around and they could be like i don't know a rogue and be super sneaky it makes a lot of sense granted i don't think he'll play a rogue again but you know the option is there for them to play a a character who can sort of walk through by themselves maybe a paladin would be a good you know example of a character who could make their way through a or by themselves as a treasure hunter could be possibly who knows but I also think that this opens the door for the best option here, which is a defecting Ruby Vanguard soldier. I think that would be the perfect way for Sam to return because there's going to be a million Ruby Vanguard like soldiers somewhere around here in the Genesis Ward, which is where they're currently located. They could facilitate the idea of having great knowledge on the area because they've been around for a while and become a sort of guide for them to sort of move their way through Aeor because Essek no longer has any information about this area. Essek was good for like the first half of the journey, but now that they're in the Genesis Ward, he doesn't have any information. He's never been back here. So a new guide to show up and sort of help them because they were a part of the Ruby Vanguard would be really cool. And also, Sam Regal listens and he knows the Bodor thing greatly affected Ladna. So to have a sort of mirrored version of that where they're well aware of a Ruby Vanguard member coming to them, approaching them, and sort of wanting to join them because they no longer believe in the cause would be huge. And it would be sort of like a way of of closure for Ladna and the other characters who were there with Bodor. And it would be a very fun thing to sort of have a character who was, you know, like FCG wanted the party to trust each other greatly. And now the party trusts each other. Even after FCG's death, it's brought them together a little bit more. And they do have some issues. Ladna being the main, you know, the main issue right now with things that have happened recently. So if they were to have a character who were to sort of draw out on Ladna and be like, you know, like Ladna is the center focus of this character being mistrusted because of the, the past of characters they've met before. It'd be very interesting and very cool, in my opinion, for this type of character to sort of be wanting the party to trust them but then they just they keep them out of arm's reach until they prove themselves that they aren't going to pull a bodor and i think that would be super cool and a very interesting story for them to tell also i do want to just quickly mention this before moving on to my next point which is 
Sam could potentially just straight up play a race from Ruidus. So like a uh, Bormodo, a Rhyloran, or anything of that nature. He could potentially play as one of those. And I just think that that ties into the whole Ruby Vanguard thing. So it would still fit that whole Ruby Vanguard archetype I was talking about before. So realistically, I just felt like mentioning that it could be a race from Ruidus. So just wanted to put that out there. Now, there is one more type of character that Sam could play, but I really am not a fan of this idea, and that is to be another Aorton. Now, Aortons obviously come from Aor, and D went through after being sort of revived by the Mighty Nine. He went through and started collecting bodies of former living Aorotons and then brought them back as well and then shoved them out into the world to live their own lives, right? That was whole, all, like, that was D's whole thing to bring his race back and to sort of shove them back out into the world. So I could easily see another Aoriton going, hey, there's probably more of us in here. I'm going to stay here, try to find them, and then bam, we'll, 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 we'll bring more back. This could facilitate the idea of learning more about Aor, learning more about Aorotons, and all that sort of stuff. And they could be a guide to sort of bring them through the, the Genesis Ward, I just really don't like the idea of Sam playing another Aoriton. I think that would be too close to playing as FCG. And, you know, depending on how they do it, it could be a character who is, you know, very well aware of their past, has gone through all, like, the tra trauma sort of fixing, and they know, like, you know, they do know they're alive and all that sort of stuff. I just really don't want another Aoriton. I feel like that is too close to FCG territory, and we need to sort of move on and move away from that i know a lot of people have been suggesting that another ar ton could be played here but I, I don't know i'm really just not for that idea personally i would rather them play or rather sam play something completely different than fcg than as opposed to being something like sort of related to fcg if that makes sense i would rather not have that happen and there you have it sort of the discussion of Sam Regal returning to campaign three potential characters. This is going to be the last time I make like a prediction of what Sam's character is going to be because we don't have much time left before Sam's going to be back. So realistically, I can't make any more predictions, but also for those of you who are worried that Sam wasn't going to come back in campaign three at all, he's literally advertised. So realistically you have no issues there. So there you go. That's the video. I will see you guys on Friday for Whatever video I make next, I do have a planned video, and hopefully it can come out on Friday, but it's going to be a lot of work, so it might not. It might be a Tuesday video, but I'm going to try to make sure that that video comes out within the next, uh, you know, two uploads, because, you know, the one after that is going to be a recap. So hopefully, hopefully that video can come out soon. But until then, peace.